talismans. Love them or hate them, they are required for progression. They provide stats for every part of the game in the form of magical power. Everything from farming to combat has a massive benefit from magical power. The one downside, the price. It costs over 8 billion coins to max out your talisman bag, not even mentioning the over 2 billion coins needed to max out Jacobus. Now, me being the good little psychopath I am, I'll be spending 5 billion coins on talismans. It's that time again. It's time for me to take an obscenely large purse, probably triple to quadruple something else net worths, and smush it into oblivion by abusing it on the auction house. The only thing different is that this time, I'm red. Ah, uh, but yeah, if you take a look at my purse, 5.4 bill. This is actually the highest my purse has ever been, and it's all going to talismans. I'm not sure how I feel about this. Ah, uh, but yeah, we're just gonna be going to the auction house, and we're gonna do some shenanigans, tomfoolery, and other various things. So I'm just gonna be going by the Sky Helper bot, and just going from cheapest to most expensive, and, uh, well, if I run slash accessories in the bot again, and we click enter, if we go to missing right here, and I go to show all, you'll see that the total cost after selling is gonna be 5.21 bill, the total cost will be 5.5 bill. I'm only missing 26 accessories. 26. Let's just say, this gets really expensive really quickly. So, first up is a talisman that I've actually been putting off getting for this video, and it's the atmospheric filter. If I can spell it right. Yep, there we go. It's pretty cheap, only 35 mil. It only came out recently, and I've just been putting off buying it because, uh, again, I, I need to make a video on talismans and, you know, normal stuff. Also, I should probably mention, I have 1430 MP right now. There's absolutely no reason for me to do this other than I want to have funny max MP. We're going to get funny max MP. Uh, but yeah, first one down. And yeah, now the price jumps drastically because we're going to be buying a Hocus Pocus Cypher, which, you know, 36 mil, not too bad, 289 mil. Yeah, you know what, let's, let's just do it. I have 5.4 bill for a reason. There we go. And the next one is one that I actually need to go and remove something from my talisman bag for, which I hope I didn't waste a recom on it. I wasted a recom on it. Lovely. I don't have the recipe, do I? Uh, mm, I sadly do not have the recipe. Oh, well. I, I guess we'll just sell the blood donor ring and we will get a blood donor artifact. Blood donor artifact is... Ah, that's actually really not all that bad. 84 mil. Yeah, we can just go ahead and buy that. Oh, and now one that's going to be kind of annoying. Um, We actually need to upgrade my pulse ring. Which, where even is that? Yeah, there we go. So I need to hit 5 million charge on that, and I have to do it 50k at a time. So let me do some math. So after taking much longer than I would like to admit on mental mathing how many I would need, I need 41 charged bottles of thunder. This is going to be a little bit expensive. Yeah, I, I can see why it says 160 mil in the bot now. Goodness gracious. And, oh, uh, goodness, these have gone up in price a little bit. Oh boy. You know what? Let's just start buying them. Editing me. Montage this or something. Find some weird music on NCS. Do it. Well, I just bought out every single reasonably priced Thunder Bottle on the AH. I bought them all up to 2.3 mil, I think. And, uh... <laughs> This is what the AH is looking like. It is not good. I bought almost every single Thunder Bottle on the AH, and I still need more. I might go try to see if someone just has Thunder in a Bottle in bulk. But until then, let's just go over to an anvil and, editing me, pull out the anvil sound effects. Alright, I'm out of thunder in a bottle, but I do have 4.7 million charge on there, meaning I believe I only need another six of them. I think that math math is that math's out. Yeah, I need six. Before we continue, if we hit 33,000 subscribers as well as 2,500 likes on this video, I'll give away 100 million coins to a random person who comments on this video. So make sure to comment your IGN. Bonus points if you tell me a joke or something. Ba back to wasting money. So yeah, I mean there are six on the AH right now, but I would end up overpaying by quite a 
ton on the last three of them. I'm gonna see if someone has some first. Apparently some guy in my guild was about to buy Thunder in the Bottle as well, and I just bought out the entire auction house. That is actually so funny. All right, so here's one of them, just buying it off my guildmate. All right, there we go. Thank you. And just apply this one real fast, and now we only need five more. All right, and here's another one from a guildmate, and there we go. Apply this one as well. All right, and we got another one. Thank you. Uh, we do a little bit of combining. All right, and the last three, I think I'm just gonna buy off the AH since, I mean, 2.4 mil per. It is, it's not good, but... I just want to get this done, and I don't want to wait for more to be listed, and there we go, last three. We make another trip over to the anvil, and we do a little combining, some more combining, with a little more combining on the side, and with this click, it becomes mythic. And, uh, yeah, that looks very, very nice. Five million thunder, and... Uh, it doesn't give an extra boost to magic find, unfortunately. Ah, uh, but whatever. It's mythic. It gives me more MP. It is going in the accessory bag. Also, I think I may need to buy a couple more slots from Jacobus. Oh, uh, which that's not going to be cheap. Now we need to do something which, if you remember my mining setup video from a while back, which if, if you haven't watched it, go watch it. It's a good video. Artifact to power. I need to put a bunch of gems in this. I realized after recording that video that this actually wasn't maxed, meaning I didn't have a maxed mining setup. My title was clickbait by 0.2 pristine. GG. Uh, but for real though, um, we, we need to go put a bunch of perfects in this. So gemstone. I, I really don't think they should be too bad right now. I think gemstone prices are kind of dead. Ah, no, never mind. They're up. Wow, gemstone prices are really high, actually. Oh, you know, that that explains why it's 118 mil. You know what? Let, let's just do all of it. So 13 mil for the jade, 13 mil for the amber, and again, 13 mil for the topaz. Gonna 17 mil for the sapphire. What? And then amethyst, 17. Is nobody mining? And then jasper, absolutely ridiculous. 40 million coins. I mean, that one kind of makes sense. It's jasper, but like, geez. And then, yeah, sub 10 mil for the ruby. And I guess we might as well. I mean, I have the hex, but I mean, I mean, just going to the mines. Nostalgia. Gotta do it. Slap this in here. Take all of these out, which will cost me an additional like 700k and just removing gemstones. That's interesting. I don't know. We'll just pop all of it in. And there we go go. Artifact of power. And, ooh, this one I can actually, uh, after I sell all of these other stuff, if we go to the hub real fast, I can put an enrichment on it, which it will be amazing. An additional 0.5 magic mine. Yeah, 5,000 bits. Not too bad. Slap it in the anvil. And there we go. All right, so now I need the burst stopper artifact, which I believe I have the lower tier of that talisman already. Yeah, I have the burst stopper talisman. And, uh, recently I actually got blaze nine, so we should be able to craft this, which which will make it a bit cheaper. So burst stopper, yeah, burst stopper artifact. The raw craft cost is only 121 mil, and I'm not sure what the price on the AH is. I think the price on the AH is actually about 140, so I do save a little bit of money. I'm not sure if anybody's selling it though. It seems people are only selling the talisman. No, no, I can craft it. Does not matter. So for that, we need it looks like 80 whipped magma cream, which while well, the difference between the buy and sell is night and day, but I'll probably just insta buy it because I am lazy and don't want to wait. And molten powder, also a night and day difference, but again, I don't want to wait. All right, let's get the molten powder out of the way first. So, uh, 30 mil. You know what? Let's just get it out of the way. 60 mil for two stacks, then whipped magma cream. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. We will just insta buy 80 of it. That's going to be another 30 mil. And yeah, we'll, we'll just do it. Plop that in the center and these go in all the corners. And yep, there we go. We get the burst stopper artifact. And now we need the future calories talisman, which is that really that expensive? Uh, no one's selling it. And the bot's saying it's pretty expensive. Oh, Oh, it's soulbound. Why does it have a price then? Okay, interesting. Oh, this might be bad. I need to check something. Okay, warp wizard portal. Since I, I if this is right, this is not good. Hold on, give me a dimensional infusion. All right, so we warp to the bankster, and I have 884,000 moats, which, if my theory is right, that might be enough. If not, it looks like I might have to watch a video documentary and do burgers. Oh, okay. It's it's dead cat food. Or is it? So pre-digestion fish. I can't open the wiki for it. Let me do some research. Okay, so to get a pre-digestion fish, it's really weird. So you need to feed a Siamese lynx tasty cat food, which luckily it is Diana right now. So if I get the food this week, I can do this. The only problem is the tasty cat food, which that is the, the stuff that you need to bid on in Shin's auction, which means 
means I may need to do some boats grinding. Although, wait, or am I being stupid? The pre-digestion fish can be obtained by feeding a Siamese lynx tasty cat food. Wait, is tasty cat food, is that the stuff that can, oh, tasty cat food is rift transferable. I can, I can buy that off the AH. Never mind, we're chilling. I can pay to win it. Also, just out of curiosity, what do I need to get into the top? I think it's 25. No, it's the top 60. Hold on, when does this end? Because genuinely, I think 884k would be enough. Oh, it ends in a day and 23 hours. So yeah, this video is going to take way longer than two days to record. So honestly, I'm not going to use these moats anywhere else. I might as well just <laughs> save like 130 mil and just get this. So yeah, minimum bid is 662,000 moats. Yeah, no, I can, I can easily win this. I can just bid over by like 300 100k, I, I got this. So bid on auction. There we go. We bid 600,000 votes. And now I am number 60 and we just need to overbid a little bit. So just give me a hot second to click this for like, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes straight. Oh, well, I throttled the, the menu and I'm out of moats. Oh, wait, no, I can bid one more time. Okay, there we go. I'm out of moats. I have bid 882,000 moats and I am number 38, which that will probably let me get it 100%. Yes, maybe. Uh, I, I don't know. Worst case scenario, I can I, I can sell some stuff. Uh, so now we need uh, we we need a bingo relic. Which first of all, ow. S second of all, ow. Third of all, ow. I'm sorry. This is going to hurt, and I can't stop thinking about how much it's gonna hurt. And buying one that's recom that how much are recoms? Yeah, buying one that's recom isn't even worth it. Okay, pulling the trigger. 789 mil. Ugh, there it goes. It, 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 it's all gone. Ah, oh, it's. Mm. At least I can sell this bingo talisman. I nearly just had a heart attack. In the bot, for some reason, it was saying that I needed to buy the bingo artifact as well as the bingo relic. It's saying that I also need to buy the bingo ring. I, yeah, I nearly just had a heart attack because I thought the artifact was actually better than the relic. No, it's it's not. I, I bought the correct thing. I think there may have been a stacking bug with those talismans at one point and the bot just isn't detecting it. That out of the way. We get the fun one now. Yeah, we're gonna buy a rift prism. A another stupidly expensive one. Yeah, 790 mil. Cool. Mm-hmm. Yep. Get my inventory. Thanks. Another kind of interesting one is we need Kudra cores. Um, I'm not even sure if there's any. Are there any fiery Kudra cores on the AH? I'm just gonna search Kudra core, and yeah, there are no fiery Kudra cores on the AH. Which, I mean, that's fine. I think there's enough for me to craft it myself. So if I go in here, yep, I've got a fiery Kudra core myself, and we are going to be upgrading this bad boy. So I think we need. I, I believe I need 12 burning Kudra cores. So yeah, let's just start buying out the AH. And a third one, and a fourth one. And that should be enough to craft a fiery. Yep, there we go. First fiery Kudra core. Alright, and then let's buy another bundle of four. So 24 mil, and oh, 26 mil. I mean, when I'm spending this much money, I don't really need to worry about how much it is. And yeah, I, I think some Kudra people are going to be happy that I'm inflating prices a little bit. Now we throw these all in the crafting table and a second fiery Kudra core. And how much damage is the third one going to do? Uh, okay, not, not even that much damage. Little bit inflated, but yeah, just we're going to buy all of them. These are mine now. Sorry, anybody else who wanted them. Um, yeah, they're, they're mine. And we craft the fourth fiery Kudra core. We need to make sure that this fiery Kudra core is in the top left since it'll get recommed and enriched. Look at that. We get an infernal Kudra core. And we get a 3% chance for attributes to spawn one level higher, which if I ever play Kudra, that is actually really, really useful because it quite literally just makes it so that some of my stuff will just sell for more. I also forgot to mention that when I bought the Blood Donor artifact, 10% mana regen. That is actually really, really good. Like, in insanely good. I already regen mana really fast, but I mean, 10% is a, a lot. I feel like Flora just wants to be in the video, but yeah, like, subscribe, and hit, 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 hit. <coughs> I'm getting caught up on my words, do it. Now, before we continue, I need to run to the store and buy pasta sauce. One moment, please. And we're back. Time to waste some more money. The next thing that I need is the Artifact of Control, which I think is currently the most expensive talisman in the game, actually. Which, oh boy, this may hurt a small amount. 1.47 billion coins for a single talisman. But hey, I can vote twice. Yeah, that's not even how it works. I read it wrong. It's whatever. We're buying it. <sighs> there we go. This is a thing I have now. It's a thing I didn't need, but I have it. And finally, we will 
will be getting a Pandora's box, which this one's already mythic, but it's like a hundred mil more expensive. And I actually know somebody who I helped get a Pandora's box to mythic who can actually just make it mythic for me. So yeah, we're going to save 100 mil and we're going to go for the common one. And yeah, let me just DM them so I can make this mythic. All right, so I have someone here to make my Pandora's mock. <laughs> You know what I mean, Pandora's box. I, I don't know, We're, we don't need Collat, it, it's fine. I, I loaned them a Kime 5 Day Axe, and uh, yeah, there, there we go, it's Mythic now. Literally all they have to do is open it, and uh, yay, Mythic accessory. I am never doing that myself. So now I just need to do a little bit of work on these talismans, because this is every single one that I actually am able to buy at the current moment. Well, other than the Future Calories talisman, but I need to wait two days until I can have that. Uh, But yeah, we need some recoms, other things things, enrichments, etc, etc. Uh, so let's start with recoms, I guess. Atmospheric filter, recom. Hocus Pocus cipher, a recom. Blood donor artifact, of course, a recom. Artifact of power, I already have recom. Pull string is recom. Burst stopper, recom. The bingo relic, now that needs a recom. And the rift prism, it would be stupid to recom that. I already have that recom. The artifact of control definitely needs a recom, my goodness. And the Pandora's box, I cannot recom. Am I even able to enrich it? I am not sure if I'm able to enrich the Pandora's box, but I do need to buy a couple enrichments. So if we go over here, we'll buy like, uh, I, I don't know, three. I don't know how many I need. We'll just start with that. And Pandora's box, can you enrich it? Yes, you can. Okay, for some reason I thought you couldn't. I guess it's a recon that you can't put on it. And then we need one on the bingo relic. Oh, on the burst stopper artifact too. And then we need another one. I think we might need two more. So the artifact of power, I already have enriched and I'm dumb. And the hocus pocus cipher, you can can't enrich. Interesting. Although I can enrich the artifact of control. Okay, so I only needed one more. And now the last little thing that we need to do is we need to go over to the wizard portal and we actually need to imbue the rift prism into my spirit or something along those lines. Where is the ladder? So yeah, if we talk to... I think it's Udium, or no, 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 it's Arahan. All right, now we talk to Arahan. The Rift Prism is very powerful, but sometimes it fails. Basically, as the Rift is a different dimension, sometimes I cannot check your accessory bag. It's a bunch of magic nonsense, but we can fix that. Basically meaning Mini Kloon did not want to code it. So now we can imbue the Rift Prism into ourselves for 11 magical power. Yay. All right, and now something kind of funny that I can do if I TP back up here. Yeah, I, I, Wizard, I don't I don't even need that anymore. I, I can literally just jump in here. Yep, imbued applied from imbued rift prism. I, I can, I don't need to pay to enter the rift now. I can just jump in, jump out as much as I want. And now the rest of the talismans, I just kind of need to organize in here. And I will also unfortunately need to buy um, a bunch more slots over at Jacobus because uh, this is a lot more talismans and uh, I'm going to need a lot more space. I'm also getting skyblock XP for putting talismans in here. So that just, that just gave me a lot of skyblock XP actually. Goodness. Okay, this is giving me, like, a lot, a lot of Skyblock XP. Anyway, we put all the blues in there, and now we get to put all the greens in here. And did, did I just level up? I, I did. I'm level 377 now. Oh, that's cool. But yeah, it looks like I am going to need to buy, yeah, two upgrades. So one and two. And this should allow me to put the rest of my talismans in the bag. Yep, there we go. I can fit all of them now. And so as a little checkup, we are currently at 1548 MP. That's a lot of MP. So the only talismans I actually actually have left are ones that are soulbound, and I need to go grind for and or just wait a little bit for. Minus future calories talisman. We'll get that in two days. So we need the pest hunter artifact, which that will just be a little bit of farming. It's not too bad. The seal of the family is going to be annoying. I bought barely anything at a dark auction, uh, but I have a little bit of money to play with, so I should be able to overpay on some stuff, and yeah, it'll be fine. I also need the tiny dancer, which I think I'm going to lose my mind for. And we also need Odker's diamond too. I think we're gonna start going for Diamond Hunter, and in the midst of that, I'm going to, well, try to see if I can get a seal the family. And then all the other ones I'll just throw in there randomly as I see fit in the video, because who needs to make a congruent story when editing exists? If you can't tell, I record my videos very sloppily, and then just hope editing me decides to put in the effort to fix it. You're welcome. So to get Gold Hunter, I'm only missing one fish, which is the vanilla. This is going to be painful, so I'm gonna try to learn how to rod swap. I, I don't know. I'm gonna go eat spaghetti right now, but hopefully future me decides to record stuff correctly and gets this right and then goes and gets a gold vanilla. If it happens, you'll see it. So I currently have 
literally zero idea how to rod swap. I'll figure it out tomorrow morning. Um, but until then, we're just gonna use this clean starter rod and chuck it over here and hope I get a gold vanilla in a while. Yeah, I'm gonna be watching video essays for probably the next eight hours. So I've been trophy fishing for a little bit and a dark auction is about to start. I am nicked because going into a dark auction with YouTube rank does not seem like a smart idea. People will outbid me. Um, and also I went and talked to this guy and I've apparently purchased one item from the dark auction and I need to purchase an additional four before I can upgrade to the next level, the talisman. And considering I never attend dark auctions, I am like 90% sure I need to do the entire dark auction quest line to get the seal of the family because, uh, well, first of all, click serious. Um, but as I was saying, I actually bought the, I believe it's second to the seal of the family, whatever the tier below it is, before they ended up soul binding it. Yeah, the crooked artifact, which that's the one right below the seal of the family, and it's soul bound now. Anyway, I'm just hoping I don't have to overpay a ton on dark auction items. It said I'll be warped in once it starts, but Sirius just disappeared. I appear to have not gotten warped in. Well, this is disappointing. Yeah, no, it just straight up didn't warp me in. Okay, I guess back to trophy fishing. All right, another DA starting soon. I'm nicked and hopefully I actually get warped this time. All right, Sirius is here. I'm just gonna spam click him a lot. All right, there we go. Transferring to the dark auction. It it should warp me. There we go. It took a second and I nearly had a heart attack, but there we go. We're here and we should be nicked. Oh, Zack is here. Interesting. Ooh, okay. First up is a jellyfish pet, which I actually kind of need one of those. Uh, let's see how much it starts going for. I don't know what it's gonna go for. I'll just bid. Why is it using my normal skin? It, it is using my normal skin for some reason. I also don't know how much these normally go for, but you know what? Okay, yeah, 54 mil is, well, low. it's been 79 right now. I, I don't know. We'll just keep bidding it up. I mean, I'm willing to overpay a little bit. Mm -mm, I'm not really willing to overpay that much. I mean, I'm going to be fishing for a while. I can attend multiple DAs. How are six book? Okay, I can probably get this. Well, we'll just start. How much do these even go for? Why are they bidding it up that much? It is a power six book. It, it's a power six book. It's worth 200k. I even for seal this is ridiculous. Oh, I just accidentally bid on it. Seriously, 200k? It's going for 11 mil. These guys must really want seal. Parapet, okay. Apparently an Iron Man wants it. Personally, I want seal, so I'm just gonna just, I'm just gonna start bidding it up. Like, there's, there's no, there's no point. Just, just bid it up. All right, and yeah, I'm gonna see if I can get this. Is that 40 mil? Yeah, no, I'm, this, this guy is a psychopath. Like, I, I want, I need talisman but I, I don't need it that bad. But yeah, let, let's just see if we can win this minion right here. I don't know how much these normally go for, but uh, the one thing that I do know is that I can't actually resell it, which is the annoying thing. But then again, I have a Discord to abuse, so I could just sell it to them. I, I want to get at least one item out of this DA, and hopefully it'll be this flower minion. Okay, so that's kind of funny. Zach ended up realizing that I was a nicked uh, YouTube rank. He said, Claire, what's your IGN? And I just said, in there, and he was like, oh... <laughs> That is actually kind of funny. So after a while of, you know, procrastinating, <laughs> figuring out how to rod swap, I, I, I figured out how to rod swap. It's really easy. You quite literally, so you start on your rod and then you just swap your rod as you're throwing it. it it's it's incredibly simple. I think I messed it up there. This cast is taking way too long. The, the timing is a little weird, but if you throw the rod and then slightly after that, you swap it, it should rod swap and you do all the funny thingies. I don't know. I need to get the timing down, but I, th this should go a, a little bit faster now. Yeah, I, th I think I did it right there. Yep, there we go. Two second catch with a starter rod. Oh, uh, well, that's kind of cool. I just caught a diamond blobfish. I have another one now. Yippee. All right, another DA. Tabless doesn't look awful. Let's see if I can get some stuff. Oh, another jellyfish pet. And Lewis bin is 79 mil right now. Uh, I'm, I'm not bidding 90 mil. This guy can have it. Okay, another Prot 6 book. Or, well, no, Prot, it was, it was Power 6 before. I don't know. I, I want it. I need the talisman. Honestly, I'm willing, willing to bid D Decently high on this, just because I I just want I just want the talisman. I, I mean I'm I'm here to waste money after all. Please just let me have it for 12 mil or or not. Bid it up to 14 mil. Cool. D just let me have the dang book. Thank you. Okay. Oh, spirit mask. Oh boy. How much do these even go for? 80 mil. All right. That's just lovely. All right. Let me have it for 94. I'd be fine with losing a little bit of money on this. It's like 14 mil loss. That's that's not even all that bad. All right. Now I don't really want to buy another flower minion, but like I I I I do want the talisman. 
I need the talisman. I might buy another flower minion. You know what? Yeah, I'm, I'm not paying 40 mil for a flower minion. They can have it. I don't know. I got, I got two things. I'm happy with that. Try not to overpay by a ridiculous amount for this talisman, but let's see. We need one more item purchase and then we get a talisman upgrade. Today's video has a sponsor, and because of that, I'm gonna pull an all-nighter and trophy fish. Also, my lights are way too bright, and they're being stupid, I'm really pale. Editing me, take it away. This video is sponsored by Ma Energy. I'm a big enjoyer of caffeine, and I got an email with the words free and caffeine in the same sentence. I was like, yes, please. Now you see, in this fridge, I I, I had two entire boxes of Monster. They, they've been thrown out. They appear to have been replaced by brisket. But you want to know how much these two cases of Monster cost me? $44. And now I was sent uh, this, you know, little tub right here. Don't know how much this costs? 40 bucks. There's 60 servings in it. Now if we compare that to my two cases of monster, that was 24 for $44. More expensive and about the, a third the amount. So I mean, you get a lot more out of this. And caffeine, got about the same amount in there. Per serving, this has 100, monster has 150. I, I will say this will be a lot more friendly on my wallet. So hey, make sure you go use my link down in the description and go pick up some. If, if you are also a big caffeine enjoyer, I would highly recommend it. And as a final reminder, make sure you use code Ma10 at checkout when using my link in the description. Also, the majority of the rest of the clips in this video were attempting to pull an all-nighter while trophy fishing in order to review this product. It worked, I didn't sleep. So we've got another dark auction pretty soon. It's currently 1am, and apparently I'm a chicken now. And we're in, as well as 30 other players. Wow, this is a pretty big lobby. Uh, I just want to hopefully get a single thing so I can get the next talisman upgrade. I also appear to be a level 4 with the Blaze 9 emblem. Really hard to tell that I'm nicked here. Ooh, we got a travel scroll to Sirius. I don't know how much that usually goes for. 40 mil apparently. I don't know how much I get it for. I might actually use it because, I mean, it is Skyblock XP. Uh, just let me have it. 43 mil. That isn't even bad. <sighs> Please, just let me have it. Gosh dang it, let me have it. I just want the stupid scroll. You know what? Sure, you can have it. I don't even care anymore. Another Prot 6 book. Yeah, I can overpay on this. What is wrong with people? Someone immediately bid it up to 16 mil. You know what? I I, I want this talisman. Sure, I'll, I'll overpay by 15 mil. I want the talisman. <laughs> we don't need money. So how much is a turtle pet? 27 mil. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, I actually got one for a fairly reasonable price. Lowest spin is 28 mil and I got it for 30. I don't really want to have to sell another flower minion. These are annoying to sell. I'll try to buy it. If I can buy it for a reasonable price, I'll get it, but, and they're already bidding it up way too high. I mean, I'll, I'll bid on it, I guess. I don't know. If I, if I get it for like 37 again, yeah, no, I'm, I'm going to stop bidding on that. Overall, I mean, decent haul. I got two. This one was way too overpriced and this one was actually decent. Also, people realize that I'm nicked because of the, uh, level four with the blaze nine emblem and now they're wondering who I am. And Anyway, we get the shady ring, which I don't need. Out the window you go. And now we need to have purchased 10 items. Yeah, okay, we need another four. This may be a bit. All right, another dark auction. I actually got kicked from the server right before this one, and uh, I almost missed it, but we're here. And and for the second time, I, I, I didn't get warped. I'm beginning to think that the dark auction might have a problem with me nicking or something. And ne next one, I'm gonna go in on nicked and just see what happens. Well, a dark auction starting soon, and I'm just gonna go in unnicked this time because I think me nicking is messing up with me getting warped somehow. I don't think it should, but it is. Also, it's nearly 3 a.m. Yay. Okay, good. I actually got warped this time. Let's see how horrendously I get outbid just because I'm YouTube rank. All right, first thing we have up is a turtle pet, which uh, they go for 25 mil. I'm, yeah, I'll bid on it. Okay, you know what? 42 mil. I'll just I'll just let him have it. I I don't need it. I don't I don't need it that bad. <laughs> that is 20 mil overpay. No, thank you. Oh, Vicious Five Book. Okay. Mm hmm. This is uh, certainly interesting. We will just, yeah, we'll, we'll just bid this up. Yeah, they're going for 135 mil right now. Am I actually going to get this for 135 mil? There's no way I actually got that. There's no way I got that for 135 mil. I'm not even, I am literally not even losing money on this. I, I just quite literally break even. All right, so we got a parapet, which I probably should be nice and let the Iron Man get it. But I also, you know, kind of, kind of, kind of need, you know, 
stuff. Yeah, what, what are they going for? 34 mil right now? And yet, yeah, nope, nope, I am not going to 50 mil. No, thank you. Now we got another flower minion. Let's see if we can get this. Yeah, I'm, I'm not bidding 40 mil for a flower minion. I don't know. I got the vicious five. Three more items. And then after that, I'll need another five. So it is currently 3.03 a.m. I've been fishing for, I want to say about four hours straight now. I'm going a little bit insane. I've watched three hours of the newest Pyrocynical video. Anyways, yeah, let me let me just PV myself. And I swear, if I go pity on Vanille like I did on Karate, I'm, I'm gonna slap somebody. This is taking so long. <laughs> if it takes me eight hours to do Gold Vanille, I think I'm going to go insane. I mean, I'm getting it done tonight. I I'm not sleeping. I I'm getting it done tonight. Finally! Oh, this took way too long. Hold on. Okay, I need to pause my video essay. Okay, I did it. Vanilla gold. I didn't, I didn't pity it. We're posting that in guild chat. I was complaining about how I might pity it, like I did karate, but nope, we didn't. I think I got it at like 51, I want to say. Oh yeah, no, it genuinely was 51. It, it was the next fish after I recorded that clip. That's kind of funny. Uh, anyway, we don't need the starter rod anymore. I hate that thing. Uh, let's go for a different fish. Um, but, but actually, actually first, I, I can upgrade to gold hunter now. Ooh. Oh, and we get a new talisman. We get a new talisman. Okay. There's actually... Oh, there's a lot of stuff from this. Okay, 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 okay. You can tell being this exhausted is taking a toll on my mental state because, um, well, it is 3 a.m. and I am not recording anything properly. All right, so if we go in here, I believe I need to take off my armor and also I need to go grab my silver tooth out of my accessory bag, I believe. Yep, there we go. And if we go into trophy fishing rewards, yep, there we go. Expert trophy fisher. So we get the gold set and Odger's gold tooth upgrade. So let's just claim all that. And there we go. All right, and and yep, once I get this diamond, that's like a free 600 mil, I think. And we get talisman upgrade thingy. It's really late at night. I'm also pretty in gold now. Anyway, this can just go back in the accessory bag. And then I guess while we're here, I might as well just get the gold armor and put it in the museum. I mean, I could just put it in the museum and have it count retroactively for all of them at diamond, but I want that skyblock XP. And now the great thing about gold hunter armor is that it actually increases your trophy fish chance to 10% instead of the 5% percent from the silver armor, which will make going for diamonds uh, just that little bit easier. And now, as some of y'all may know, I actually have the wrong perks on this rod. Uh, this rod is actually made for obfuscated fishing. So we're going to go finish up all my obfuscated diamonds, and then what we're going to do is we're going to actually sell this rod and buy a normal one and go for all the other diamonds. And if I'm lucky with, like, golden fish, I think we should be able to hopefully get diamond hunter in this video. Another DA starting pretty soon, and again, I'm unnicked. Let's hope this doesn't go horribly wrong. Okay, this lobby doesn't look too bad. Only one person is actually a higher level than me, and they are an Iron Man, so that will be, um, interesting to go against. Okay, first up, Nether Artifact. Lovely, lovely. These normally go for 66 mil. Honestly, I'll, I'll bid on this. I don't even know why I'm saying I'll bid on this. I mean, I'm gonna try to bid on everything. If I actually get this for 73 mil, I'll be surprised. Nope, I will not. I mean, 75 mil when it goes for 66, eh, honestly, that's not bad. Just let me have it. I'm overpaying by 10 mil. Thank you. And then we have Sharp 6, which I will probably overpay a ridiculous amount for again. Yep, it's already up to 4.3. Again, I'm willing to do some stupid overpay. I might get it for 7 mil, maybe. Yep, there we go. Okay, two items. Lovely. Ooh, we got a jellyfish pet, which, to be honest, this is probably what the Iron Man's going to be bidding on. So I'm not sure if I'm going to win this one. All right, I'm, I, I just got this for 97 mil. <laughs> I, I just, I am buying the entire dark auction. And I mean, I'm only losing like... 30 to 40 mil on all this, which honestly, I'm really not all that mad about. And someone bid 54 mil. And yeah, no, I, I don't even care that much. Uh, but honestly, coming away with three things, only losing about 40 mil, I'm fine with that. Oh, and we can get the crooked artifact and, um, oh, turns out I should not have chucked out the shady ring. Lovely, let's, let's go get it from Rusty. All right, shady ring. I also find it very funny how that entire lobby was just complaining about YouTuber overspending when it's just, it, it, it sealed the family. Everybody overspends for it. I do not get why I'm special in this circumstance. Anyway, we just need another five items and I can get the, uh, whatever it is. Next thing. Also, I already have the crooked artifact and this one is already recommed. Uh, so, so this one actually, I, I can chuck out the window with zero consequences. <laughs> I did it. 
<laughs> Yo! Ah, uh, okay. I did not expect that to happen that fast. Okay. Um, I guess we're on to Obfuscated 3 now. Wow, looky here. Another DA starting soon. And I'm nicked this time, because last time didn't go so well. Hopefully, I get warped. Sirius is here. All right, good. I did get warped. There are some decently high-level people in this lobby, so... Uh, I'm, I'm not sure how much stuff I'm gonna be able to get. Parent pet. Oh, and they immediately updated it. You know what? It's it's whatever. Uh, I mean, if I get it for 39 mil, I won't be too mad. I mean, like, 10 mil overpay-ish. Yeah, there we go. Oh, another vicious five book. Okay, let's see if I can get another one of these. I mean, these are gonna be annoying to sell, but they're already up to 116 mil. This is gonna be annoying to sell if I get it, but I I, I need that. I need that seal. Right, 143. I'm gonna stop there. If they... Yeah, okay. I'm not going past 143. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not bidding on this turtle. I do not need it that badly. I can wait for another dark auction. Then, yeah, I'm not even gonna bother bidding on the flower minion. I don't care enough. We have gotten one item. I am cool with that. We will be leaving that DA. D A D A D A D A D A D A D A D A D a. I think I'm losing my mind. I already got a ledge parapet first up. I've also been eating spicy food, so my voice is all messed up. It's fun. We'll see if I can get it for like 10 mil-ish overpay. If I get it for 55 mil, that's crazy. If I get it for 57 mil, that's still crazy. All right, it looks like I may be getting it for about 59 mil, which honestly, that is really not all that bad of overpay. All right, prot six. I mean, yeah, I, I can I can definitely get a prot six. All right, looks like I'm gonna get this for about six mil overpay. I'm honestly fine with that. <laughs> oh, extension for painting bundle. I'm if I win this, I might actually use it. I, I do kind of need this for Skyblock XP. How much do these usually go for? A lot of money. Okay. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm I'm not bidding on this. These they're already overpaying by about 40 mil. I just I just don't even want it. This flower minion's actually going for pretty cheap. I, I'm pretty sure they go for about 30 mil. Am I gonna get this flower minion for 10 mil profit? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. I, I I made profit in the dark auction. I did not know that was possible. And it looks like I will only need to attend one. One more dark auction before I have the seal of the family. <laughs> Uh, oh, oh, okay. Okay, it took a while. It took a while, but I did it. There we go. We got the, we got, we got the obfuscated three diamond. We did it. Oh, I'm done with obfuscated fishing. And I was on the last bit of my silver bait too. Oh, uh, that's amazing. And it took me 264, which honestly, not too bad. Oh, I, I just filleted all my trophy fish and I just maxed my magma fish collection. Uh, oh, goodness. So I'm going to be taking a break from the whole trophy fishing thing because I need to sell this rod. Uh, now that I'm done with obfuscated, fishing, I don't need this rod anymore, and I would like to buy a normal trophy fishing rod because it'll just speed things up significantly. So let's try to see what I should price this at. All right, so I'm going to list it for 540 mil, and I'm just going to hope that sells. Also, another thing, I decided that I'm going to go ahead and buy the dead cat food, if there are any on the AH. All right, turns out I, I spelled it wrong. It's it's tasty cat food. It, it's not dead cat food, although there still may not be any on the AH. Nope, never mind. We are fine. Yeah, 130 7 mil. If I win the auction in the rift, I will just, you know, rift transfer it and sell it myself and get all this back. But yep, tasty cat food. Gonna go ahead and buy that. And now I need to go dig out my ancestral spade, and we need to go dig up some Siamese links. Took like a solid 10 minutes to spawn these, but if we just right-click one of these right here. Oh, there we go. Pre-digestion fish, and uh, y'all can just die die now. Thank you. So the crafting recipe isn't that bad. Um, unfortunately, it takes magma fish. I, I wish I realized that it takes magma fish, because all my magma fish is got bought by one person. <laughs> anyway, other than that, it's, yeah, six stacks of raw fish. It's, it's not even bad. So yeah, just buy six stacks of this. And silver magma fish, we just need 48 of that. 1.5 mil, yeah, it's not even bad. But if we just put this in the middle right here, split this, and then just put all the enchanted fish in there, we will be getting the future calories talisman. And we just need to throw a recom on it. And uh, we're actually gonna need to go buy some more sauce from Jacobus, because I am fresh out. And wow, 20 million coins, sure. And at least it gives me two Skyblock XP and get in there. So while I'm waiting for my rod to sell, I'm gonna be farming. Since if we talk to Philip, I am currently missing these two talismans right here, which I, it quite literally is just time gated. I just need to farm for a while. But once I'm done, I will have another legendary talisman. Anyway, so someone is just gonna be farming melon this entire time and I don't really care about going for a PB. I'm just gonna go ahead and empty my vacuum bag. I don't care about the extra fortune at the moment. And I'm currently at 88 pests exchange. 
ranged, so uh, maybe like five to seven hours of farming and I'll have it. Yeah, it's not horrible. The only thing that I need to do before I start farming is I actually need to tear down and rebuild this entire melon farm. Since an update came out that makes it so ranchers boots don't actually go over 400 speed anymore, and this farm uses 420 speed, meaning it just became about 10% less efficient. So I'm going to be swapping to a different design and I, I, I don't know, pumpkin, it, it can just stay that way. I'm, I'm not going to farm that for a while. I'll get to it when I get to it. So it has taken two hours, 16 minutes, and five seconds, but I've cleared out enough space to put in another melon farm, and I, I can't be refused to break the- uh, I, I have spent so much time doing this, I, I, I really should have just hasted over this and rebuilt these four farms, but I, I'm too far in at this point. It, it, two hours and 16 minutes just to clear this out by hand. I, I wonder about myself sometimes. I, I wonder. Anyway, I can finally start building. Uh, taking a quick break from building farms, I missed the last two dark auctions because my notification thing was not working for some reason. Uh, anyways, yeah, and I, I forgot to nick, didn't I? Yeah, you know what, it's whatever. I only need one more item before I'm finally done with this. Alright, I'm not gonna try to overbid stupidly a ton wither artifact, okay. I'm gonna try to bid on everything because I don't know exactly what's gonna be in here, and some people might start bidding very, very stupidly. These go for 158 mil, I might not bid on this. Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother bidding on the wither artifact, I'd rather save the money so that when my rod sells, I can get another trophy fishing rod. Alright, next up, growth 6, which, yeah, I'll, I'll just try to win this. It's only 6 mil, I'll just over bid by a ton. So yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and bid it up. It's up to 9 mil. I mean, I am fine with pretty stupid amount of overpay on this because I, I just want this talisman. I, I want to get it over with. Let me have the gosh darn book. All right, I think I'm gonna get it for 15 mil. 10 mil overpay, but I mean, I get a talisman. That is all I care about. I paid too much for it. It's whatever. It, it's mine now. And yeah, Midas, Midas sword, we, we don't even need to stay for this. I, yeah, we're, we're getting out of here. But if we come over here, yep, there we go. Seal the family. All I need to do is I just need to go into my bag and we need to grab the crooked artifact and there we go unfortunately it does wipe my recon though which is a, a little bit annoying but small price to pay for talismans all right let's just go ahead and throw a recon on it and then also i get to go enrich it a little bit more magic find for me i always love magic find five thousand bits put it in the anvil and enrichment now i just need to find a slot for it up here works and i am now sitting at 1561 magical power. It may have taken like three or four hours, but the farm is built. I use the design by IDK Dom, and I believe this is currently the best design because the old best design, it uh, well, it doesn't work anymore. And this was the best design before that, so I believe it's currently the best design unless somebody makes something new, which they probably will, in which case I'll have to rebuild it again, and I'll be angry, but it's it's whatever. We're using this now, it'll be fun. You know, I I, I just realized I'm farming all wrong. I'm, I'm going for pests. It's Speaking of which, pests, uh, but, but yeah, no, I should be farming with a slug, and considering I'm gonna need to buy one for slug fishing anyway, I might as well, so if we search slug, and I think we should just buy the cheapest, decently high level one available, not sure how much a level 100 would be, it's level 91 for 65 mil, that's not horrible, okay, so 77.5 mil, and I'm not sure if the pet item really matters, considering, yeah, it doesn't give you any base farming fortune, well, then, then again, actually, uh, I probably should pop a green bandana on it. Yeah, we're just gonna buy the lowest bin one, and I'm just gonna put a green bandana on it, and then green bandanas are really cheap, 7.1 mil, yeah, just give, give me both of these. There we go, and then also, a little while back, I, I bought this violet sea slug skin, I, I don't know, I just, it looks like the buy flag, I thought it was funny. All right, equip that, all right, so now we're gonna be getting 132% bonus pest chance, which is pretty decent, and we'll just pop the green bandana on there, as well as the skin. Cool, back to farm. So a couple pests just spawned, and I currently have 11 pests by vacuum. I need 12 until I get the next talisman, so if we just vacuum up some might real fast, right, and then we might as well find the other one too. Up, yep, there we go, we got a rat, and... We get a we get a vinyl. We, we we don't need that. But if we come over to the pest hunter dude guy, uh, we can deposit the vacuum bag. Now we wait for a little bit of dialogue. Yeah, you gave me 150 farming fortune, and now we can go to the pest hunter's wares, and we have 101 total pests exchanged, which means we can buy the pest hunter ring. Uh, but I I, I need to grab the uh, pest hunter's whatever it is, the the, the other one. It uh, where is it? Ah, right, there we go. The the, the, uh, the I'm good at talking. Pest hunter badge, and we grab that and. 
and 50,000 coins. The server's shutting down. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Okay, and now we should be able to buy it. Yeah, there we go. Pass Hunter Ring, and it's already upgraded all the nice stuff. It can go in here, do all the funny things. And what is my MP at? 1565. Oh! Whoa, 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 atmospheric filter. Atmospheric filter, okay, that's money. Not a ton of money, but that's money. Guys, I got another one. I, I, I got another one. I got another atmospheric filter. I'm just better like that. Chat, 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 chat. I dropped an epic slug. <laughs> I, dro I dropped an epic slug. Look at that. I, I needed this. I can use this to level up my taming now. Uh, hold on. Let me go get some skyblock XP real fast. Slash hub. Yeah, we can talk to George. I found the epic slug. Yes, I have. Give me a taming level cap. Thank you. Goodness, that just gave me 40 Skyblock XP. Guys, guys, I, I got another one. I got another Atmospheric Filter. I apologize to any Iron Men who have been grinding for this. I've gotten three of these within, in under, like, 60 mites or something. I sincerely apologize for my RNG. Alright, okay, this is this is getting ridiculous. What is this? Okay, I'm sorry. I got another atmospheric filter. Hold on. Let me post this in guild chat to make some people mad. That is... that is stupid. Okay, so three pest just spawned, and if I just click to teleport to this plot, these should be the last three pests that I need in order to get the talisman. So we got one right here, a slug, and there's another slug right here, and the last one is... I, I saw a name tag over here. Oh, yep, there it is, another slug, and it is now dead. And we have exactly 30 pests in the vacuum, so if we go over here and turn them in, we should have the talisman. So hello, Philip. Take my pests, please, and thank you. All right, so now if we go in here and we grab the pest hunter ring and click on Philip again, and we will have exactly 250 pests exchanged, meaning we can upgrade this to the pest hunter artifact. Also, another legendary talisman, so we can just go to the hub real fast and we can make this into an enriched legendary talisman. Also, it's 3 a.m., so I'm not very good at recording stuff at the moment. 5,000 bits, there we go. Slap it in here, magic find, yes. All right, if we go ahead and put this back in the accessory bag, what is the MP going to be looking like? 1569. So now, the only easy talisman I have left is Tiny Dancer. But I'm going to sleep before I go attempt that. I have awoken, and it's time to enter the Mirrorverse and do the Tiny Dancer. I have good ping, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. It'll just be a mild annoyance. So we just walk down here, and if we talk to this NPC, I should be able to just skip to the room. Yep, dance room, and yeah, this may take a while. <laughs> no, I made it so far. Uh, I punched, but the server didn't register it. No. Uh, but I, I am getting better at this, uh, unfortunately. Oh, no, never mind. I was gonna say, I thought I had to swap lobbies every time that I opened the middle, but nope. So I know I have, like, nothing to complain about considering I have good ping and a bunch of other different advantages, like no watchdog because of YouTube rank and, and a bunch of different things, but my goodness, this is annoying. It's really annoying. I'm gonna complete it faster than most people because a bunch of advantages, but but it, it, it's, it's still annoying. I'm beginning to develop a mild hatred for this. It's, ugh. I don't really know how to describe it. It, it, it just sucks in every possible condition conceivable way, and I hate it. Like, why did they have to make a game that my ADHD is just a debuff? I, I am a hindered. My brain can't take this. I must... I must be scrolling YouTube shorts. I my, my three second attention span. I can't pay attention and concentrate on one thing for this long. I also hate the punching. It's, it's like, it tells me I didn't punch on time. I clearly punched. Is there like a specific time to do it? I don't know. So I, I've, I've been at this for like 40 minutes and I, I, I must say, Tiny Dancer, it, it, it's gonna be the reason my body ends up found in a ditch one mile downstream from the nearest bridge to my house. I, I can't take it anymore. Everything hurts. After after careful consideration, I would rather peel my own fingernails off than do whatever this bizarre form of torture is. I- why? Why does this exist? I'm going to scream. Oh, I'm- I'm- I'm going to scream. I- <laughs> I'm going insane. I can't feel my arm. I, I really need to do something else, but I'm, I'm getting this done. I, I don't care how long it takes. Even if I can't feel both my arms and my right leg, I will keep doing this until I get it. I just failed two off of finishing it. I am a little bit angry. Pardon me while I go punch a wall or something. I just failed on the last one. <laughs> oh, why am I putting myself through this? All right, 256x pack. Let's see if this keeps my 
my attention any better. Um, so I completed the full dance, but the, the hole closed. The hole immediately closed. Also, I nicked because a bunch of people were staring at me, and I have a dirt blocker ahead now. I, uh, let, let, let's just see if I can uh, go ahead and TP down there, because... Alright, so, Turbulator, can I walk backwards and go grab it? Please let me grab it. Oh, thank goodness. I have it now. Oh, that took too long. Two and a half hours completely wasted. Okay, now that I have this, yeah, I just need to go rift transfer it, and then we will only be missing two talismans. One of which will be basically impossible for me to get for like the next three to four hundred hours, so I won't be including it in this video, unfortunately. And the other one I will be going for and just hoping that I get lucky. And now we grab it out of here, slash hex, and we can slap a little bit of a recom on it. And we should look at there. My talisman bag is full again. I'm now sitting at 1,500. 177 MP, which I believe is 9 off of max. Hi, it's uh, Editing Enter with a Santa hat on top of another Santa hat. So OBS messed up a little bit, and for some reason, the next around 5 minutes of footage, j just it's just Lunar Client. It's just all Lunar Client. That that's all it is. So I've come to save the day and tell you what happened. Not that much happened. It was a very uneventful 5 minutes of footage. Essentially, I got bored of trying to sell that trophy fishing rod. You know, the obfuscated rod. So I had it lowballed, took like a 60 mil lowball. I ended up buying a new 1010 rod, which I must say does look very, very hot. I think I got it for about 800 mil. And then I started doing some more diamond trophy fishing and started going for a sulfur skitter first. Chat, I did it. Sulfur skitter diamond. I think I may have pitied it. I can't check because I'm nicked right now and the PV breaks whenever I nick. But last I checked, I was at around 800 and it's been about 30 minutes. So I might have pitied it because I, I, these things are really common. But yeah, no, we caught one. So yeah, I just unnicked and yeah, I, I ended up pitying it. Which I mean, it's not all that bad. It's the most common fish, so it's the best one to pity. I'm just hoping this is the only one I pity. So clear, my thumbnail artist is going to be out of town for the next five days. So that is five days that I am forced to do something without uploading. And that something is going to be trophy fishing. It, it, she's going to get right on that thumbnail as soon as she gets back. But until then, no lifing trophy fishing. I am not sleeping. So my current game plan is to try to get diamond vanilla while going for for, well, probably karate, skeleton fish, or soul fish. And fly fish won't be too bad. Slug fish is literally free now. The only hiccup will be golden fish, which is, it's time locked, and I just have to hope I get lucky. But I'm gonna be starting on doing gold volcanic stone fish, which, yes, I know, diamond in 53 catches with no gold. And we're also gonna do fly fish at the same time. We don't talk about it. Fly fish, volcanic stone fish, we're doing those first. Oh, there it is. Okay, well, that's my easiest fish out of the way, volcanic stonefish. I think I may actually go for slugfish and flyfish next, because I can roll both those at the same time, and might as well. No. Oh, oh, okay. Um, I, I got a, I got a diamond flyfish. I wasn't expecting that. I, I was going for slugfish, but I mean, I guess I was rolling for it. I don't have to slugfish in this weird spot anymore. All right, it isn't showing up, but it looks like it took around 215 catches, which is honestly pretty lucky, and I will take it. Okay, so I'm genuinely a little mad. Also, I, I swapped texture packs because I needed something different to look at. Anyway, I got another diamond blobfish. This is the second one I've gotten today while slug fishing. I didn't record the first one because I was like, oh, it's a diamond blobfish. It, it doesn't matter that much. I have four now. W why couldn't that just be a slugfish? This game is teasing me. So I've been slug fishing for about nine hours straight. I think I'm gonna implode. Everything hurts. So I'm gonna go get some food and, th and then I'm just gonna do soulfish for a while. This is taking a tax on my sanity. I will come back to it later when I have a better grip on things. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. Why? Why? I have been slug fishing for the past 11 hours and I get a karate fish diamond. I was just fishing in the dojo on the off chance that I might get this and I get this. I'm not even happy about this. This feels like a slap to the face. I wanted slug fish. Okay, let, let's just look at my trophy fish real fast. I have 271 slug fish right now. I have 200 karate fish. I wasn't even going for karate fish. Th this, this is just insulting. I'm not even happy. I mean, I have it now. Cool, I guess, but... Why wasn't it a slugfish? I mean, I guess I'll just slugfish in the stronghold now. Knowing my luck, I'll probably get a soulfish diamond before I get a slugfish diamond. This is the fifth diamond I've caught today that could have been a slugfish. Another lava horse, as well as a flyfish, two blobfish, and a karate. I think I'm gonna go insane. I just hit 300 slugfish. If I pity this, I don't even know what I'll do. I don't want to pity this. Okay, gen genuinely, why? This is just, I, I can't believe it. Like, I got a soulfish diamond 
thousand in sub one hundred catches. I'm I'm at like three hundred and fifty slugfish, and I've gotten two of the rarest diamonds while going for slugfish. It, this is just unbelievable. I how this game is playing with my head. Like I have really good RNG for everything but slugfish. This game, this game, I have no words. And that's number five. Another blobfish diamond. Just why? That, that's my fifth one. Oh, oh, finally! Finally! Ah! Oh, that took so long! That took so long! I've been fishing for three days! Three days! Three days! I've been fishing for so long! Why did this take so long? 487 slugfish! 487! Ah! I'm going insane! Oh, that's- it's finally done. It's done. I can stop torturing myself. Oh, I genuinely, like, couldn't believe it when I first pulled that out. Like, there's an event going on right now where, like, you need to get 20k and 50k skill XP every single day, and it makes the same sound as catching a new trophy fish. I thought it was just that. And then I looked into my inventory, and, and I had a diamond slugfish, and, I, and I, I, I went a little insane. This genuinely took me, like, 30 hours. I'm not even kidding. This is, uh, a little absurd. Anyway, I guess, lastly, I should be going for skeleton fish and vanilla. I'll just be rod swapping while going for skeleton fish, and then I'll hope to get a gold fish. Oh, 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 that was fast. That was fast. Okay, that was really fast. Um, I got a diamond vanilla. I got a diamond vanilla. Okay, I got a diamond vanilla. I was not expecting that. Hold on. I think that was like sub 100, actually. Uh, well, what well, well, isn't loading, but I'm pretty sure it was sub 100. Um, yeah, so it turns out my internet crashed, and that's why it wasn't loading. Anyway, let's take a looky here. Yeah, I got it on- I, I, I got it in 98. It, it was sub 100. <laughs> I have been extremely RNG carried with trophy fishing. Other than slugfish and sulfur skitter, like every single one of these is like extremely- extremely lucky. Uh, anyway, I guess we go for a slugfish and hope we get a golden fish. If not, I might need to do a lot of Java's fishing. So I'm just trophy fishing, right? And I figure, you know what? Someone's probably just trophy fishing next to me. Pretty normal. I'm unnicked. Um, it it's Zach. Hi, Zach. Okay, 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 okay. I am like RNG carried out the wazoo. I just got a diamond skeleton fish. I don't- that it, I only have one more that I need, and that's golden fish. And if I go to pity on that, I honestly kind of deserve it for how RNG carried I've been. But if I just PV myself, yeah, look at that. It looks very, very nice. Other than this stupid golden fish, which I feel like I'm going to end up pitying. And if you didn't know, golden fish pity takes 250 hours. So that's not going to be fun. But look at this stupid skeleton fish, 119. Like, I'm pretty sure my highest diamond, like the most that I needed to catch other than sulfur skitter was like 300 something. Actually, no slugfish, 489. But other than these two, I think it's like 300 something. I got really, really lucky. Oh my goodness. I guess the plan as of right now is that I'm just gonna do some regular Jabba's fishing for a while. And I mean, I can swap over to my Magma Lord, I guess. And I'm just gonna use this rod, but I will end up selling it later and buying a regular 1010 rod because when going for golden fish, if you aren't going for any other fish with it, there's no point in having trophy fishing rod because it disappears every 15-20 minutes on a cast. But yeah, I'm just gonna do some regular bestiary fishing, I guess. So after some deliberation, namely trying to fish for five minutes during marina, I've decided that fishing during marina is extremely annoying, and that this video is already long enough as is, and I will not be finishing Diamond Hunter because this is going to take a really long time. But in my next video, I will promise I will have Diamond Hunter done. I'm not gonna give you the topic of my next video, just know I will have Diamond Hunter. But for now, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, all those things. Forfeit all your mortal possessions to me and my neighbor, or to my neighbor than me. A and yeah, I make decent content sometimes. There should be a video on my face right now. Go watch it. People tell me it's good.